Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R and the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back today to do my April TBR. And that is because there are two readathons that I am interested in doing. And so I'm going to go through each one because unfortunately I was not able to work in the books to work for both. But that's okay because I had a plan when I chose my books. So they they are doable. So the first readathon is the tour.com athon that is being run by Bethany over at Beautifully Bookish Bethany. And for this one I specifically chose novellas. Now Bethany has a bingo card, which I will try to find the image and put up here, or I will link down below in the descriptions, one or the other. And so then you can follow that bingo card as an idea of what to read. And I have chosen to do the top line of the bingo card. And so the prompts that I've chosen to do is under 200 pages, which since the three books I've chosen are novellas, all three count for that. Set in Space, which I have. Sisters of the Vast Black for that one. Animal on the cover. I have Flowers for the Sea, and I don't know how well you can see it, but these are tentacles. Um, the closer you can see, or the closer you are, you can kind of see that. An Asian author, and for that I have in the Watchful City, which I don't physically have at this moment, but it is waiting at the library right now to be picked up, which I will do later today. So I will have it for the beginning of this readathon. And then a new to you author, which all three are new to me. I have not read anything by any of the three of them. And so just to kind of start off, um, Sisters in the Vast Black is about a group of nuns that are traveling in space. That's what I really know about that and it sounds like fun. I know that the second in this novella series came out recently and so that's why I need to read the first one so I can then go read the new release. Um, Flowers for the Sea is a novella that came out last year and is one of the nominations for the nebulas which is how I picked it up. I've heard mixed reviews on this. It seems to be about a society that is living in an ark, their world is flooded, and then the main character is pregnant but she is looked down upon because she refused a prince and the child that is growing within her, she doesn't feel like it's right. That's kind of what I remember. So I'm mostly going into this blind, just going to see what I think of it. And then In the Watchful City is about a city that has an AI that watches everything. And that's what I know about that one as well. So. Those are the three novellas that I'm going to be reading for Tor.comathon, and that will take care of that top row, and I'll get my bingo. I'm planning to read those the very first weekend in April into that first week, so I can get those done. And then, on to the next readathon. I am doing the Aurelium re Magical Readathon that G over at Book Roast hosts, and I have decided to be a craft master not based off of my own personality because if it was myself choosing a career i would have gone a totally different way but the character i have created is a female dwarf who came to the aurelium academy in order to learn as a craftsman she wants to learn how to better make things when g was talking about the world and talked about you know the dwarves dwarven that talk about the dwarves are really the science fiction people i'm like oh well then i'm a dwarf that's what i'm doing <laughs> science fiction things you have me. So yeah, I'm very excited for that as well. For that, there are three prompt, three prompts. The classes that I am taking for this one are inscription, artificery, and spells and incantation. So for inscription, the prompt is an intimidating read. And so this is an intimidating read for me. And that is The Unbroken by C.L. Clark. It's a chunky book, it's a kind of epic fantasy, and I haven't been into many epic fantasies lately. So while it's on my want to read list, I haven't actually attempted to try to read it. 
but it's also one of the Nebula nominations, so I do want to read it just to see what is it about. So that is going to be my prompt. Now that is not yet ready at the library, and since my library, like you, you have a due date, but you can go over if you need to, and sometimes people do. I do sometimes. I, I'm not going to hold it against anybody else. I do have a backup book for that that I have currently on my shelf. And this is intimidating just because it's a huge chunker, and I've never read anything by this author before. And that is House of Earth and Blood? Yeah, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. So, big chunker. This is my backup book if The Unbroken is not available in the month of April, which I kind of envision I'll be reading all my other books before I get to that prompt. So... If by halfway through April I still haven't gotten The Unbroken, that's when I'll pick up the Sarah J. Mass. And then for Artificery, the prompt is Earth Setting, so something that is set on our planet. And I have chosen Root Magic by Eden Royce. This is also a Nebula nomination for Young Adult, I believe. And this is set in the 19... 60s, right around the time of when segregation is ending, and there's twins who are trying to figure out how to navigate this new life, and at the same time, their uncle says, all right, I'm going to teach you our family's root magic. So it sounds like it's going to be a historical fantasy, and I am all for this. This will be fun. And then for my Spells and Incantations class, the prompt is short stories or slash essays, and so I have chosen for that Reclaim the Stars by a variety of authors, and these are supposed to be science fiction and fantasy short stories, and also a new release, where it came out, I think in 2022? Yep. Yes, it came out in 2022, and this is also, the authors in this all feature the Latina or Latinx diaspora, diaspora. All of a sudden realize I don't actually know how to say that word. Okay. So, yeah. These are going to be my short stories that I'm going to read. And I'm hoping to kind of read like one a day to spread it out. Since I'm not usually a short story reader. So there's 17. If I try to get to one a day, I should be able to finish this easily before the end of the month. So, yeah. So, those are the readathons and my April TBR. Are you participating in in either one of these? Are you participating in both and somehow managed to find Tor.com books to fill your Aurelian prompts? What are you reading? I'd love to know. Also, if you've read anything that I am going to be reading, what did you think of them? Thank you and have a great day.